Hey guys, today I got a really short uh, video for you on um, surface areas of prism or pyramids. Sorry. So uh, you find the area, the surface area of pyramids, just like you do prisms. Uh, the only difference is that uh, a lot of the faces of a pyramid are triangles. So you need to make sure that you know the um, area formula for a triangle, half the base times the height. Okay. So here we've got a square pyramid. Um, remember, you always name the pyramid by whatever the shape of the base is. So in this case, it's a square. Now, one of the things you're going to get to assume is that the lateral faces that are triangles, they're all the same because uh, they could be different uh, depending on the pyramid. But um, if I do that, I have to give you a different height for each one. And then the picture gets so crowded up, you can't see anything, can't figure out what you're doing. Okay, now remember, this is not the height of the pyramid. So if I was to be standing up here on top of this pyramid, and I drilled a hole in the top, and I dropped the rope down inside the pyramid, this would be the height of the pyramid, which is used in volume. That's how tall the pyramid is. However, what we're interested in is this height right here. It's called the slant height. This would be like if I was standing up here and I threw a rope down the side of the pyramid, it laid on the side of the pyramid, and then I used it to rappel down the side. Okay, that's a different length. That's not the height. That's called the slant height. The slant height is always used in uh, finding the surface area, and the height is used in finding the volume. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to find the, um, the surface area here. So we're going to do the base first. That's going to be 12 times 12. That's pretty easy. And then we've got four lateral faces. They're all identical. Okay, they're all triangles, so it's half the base times the height. The base is going to be 12. The height is going to be 15. Okay, so pretty simple. This is 144 plus uh, 4 times a half is 2. 2 times 12 is 24. 24 times 15 is 360. Okay, so we add those two together, and we get 504. And that's in square millimeters. Okay? So, piece of cake. Pyramid's not very difficult. Okay, what about this bad boy here? This is a... Uh, this is a, a triangular pyramid, so the base is a triangle. Now, it's not to be confused with a tetrahedron, where all the faces are exactly identical. Okay, so um, this one, the base triangle, is different than the side triangles. So we'll do the base first. Um, so surface area, it's a triangle, the base is a triangle, so it's half the base times the height. The base is going to be 10. And the height is going to be 8.66. Okay. Plus, now we've got the lateral faces. Now, these we're going to assume they're all the same. So there's three of them. They're triangles also. So half the base, which is 10, uh, times the height, which is 25. Okay. So now we can go ahead and solve this. Uh, this is going to be 5 times 8.66. So this first part is 43.3 plus 3 times 0. 0.5 times 10 times 25. That's going to be 375. Okay, so we add 43.3 to that. And we get the surface area is going to be 418.3, and that's in square yards. Okay, so piece of cake. So you get to do 1 through 23 odd. I told you this would be a short lesson. I'll see you guys in class.